Hi guys, Blightscar here. In today's video we are going to be doing something a little different and we will not be using the creation kit. We are going to be building a mod from xedit or Fallout 4 edit. Okay, the idea for this video is to create a mod without opening up the CK. Um, and what you can use for this is a tool called Fallout 4 edit. I will include a link to it in the description, but when you start it up, you will see all of the files, like the ESMs and ESP files that you are actually using um, in your game. But if you Control and A, select all, and just click on one of the boxes, it'll unselect them all. And we just want to use Fallout4.esm. So I'm going to click that and it'll have a little uh, X in it and we just press OK and that will load up and while that's loading what we are actually going to create today is just a flag um, that is just going to be my YouTube logo and we're just going to take the original Minuteman flag and flagpole and we're going to make constructible object and some new statics and a couple of material swaps so once this is all loaded up we will come back once everything is loaded up you will see that you've got fallout all.esm at the top if you don't see everything underneath it's just a little drop down bit on the side like you don't worry about this fallout 4.exe just leave that alone just don't touch it um, the fallout.esm is the bit that we want and what you can see here is all the different categories of records that are available in game and it's just a different layout to the creation kit that you can see you've got uh, like armor you'll see all the armor bits and you've got your armor add-ons and you've got constructible objects and just about every well not just about everything you've literally got everything in here and what we want to do today is we want to find um, a flag so we're gonna get the Minuteman flag and we are going to make our own version of it and it's gonna have a different texture you'll be able to create it in the workshop mode and we're gonna do it all in here so what we are going to do is first I'm going to show you the files that I'm using for this. So in the data folder of Fallout 4, if I come into textures, I've got this FOF folder and if I make this slightly bigger, you can see it's just a retextured flag with my logo on it so we're going to use that and we also have some material files so if we come into fof we've got flag 01 flag 01 backlit flag 01 one-sided these are just copies of the ones um used for the minutemen flags but i've just pointed them to my my texture as the top one and obviously this is the material editor you can check out the material editor in the material swaps video that I made uh, previously I'll link it above I might be, even put a card up if I can figure that out All right so there are the files that we are going to use and we're going to jump back into xedit and what we want is some static records so in the panel on the left we can find a static so if i click the plus there you'll see all of the static records as you would see them in the creation kit and you can change the order in however you feel um, i just find it's easier to use the editor id um, oh, and I've, I've, managed to change that up now I've got it upside down that's why 
that's why it, why it went a bit weird. Alright, so I've got it A to Z on the editor ID. So I'm going to scroll down here, just keep scrolling, and I want to find something that is a flag. So there's not that many, I'm sure. Let's just zoom down here. Yep, there's definitely not that many. Just getting to the C's now. Okay. Alright, we're coming up to them. Here we go. So we've got Minuteman fl uh, Flagpole, Minutemen 1, Minutemen 2. So we're going to control and click on these. Right. That's just gone green because it's just trying to see the differences between the two. Don't worry about that. And there's also Minutemen flag, like flag Wall Minutemen 01. We'll get that one too. And if you right click and choose copy as new record into and you'll get a warning you're about to edit a, fi uh, a file say yes I want to do this and it comes up with a little pop-up this is because I've selected multiple things at once so this just lets me remove a prefix if I want to but there isn't a prefix there uh, do you want to remove a suffix? No. Do you want to enter a prefix? Yes. So I'm just going to add FOF and press OK. And I don't want to add a suffix. And in the window that pops up, you can see uh, which files do you want to add these records to? New file.esp, new file.esp, that's marked as an ESM, so it's a master file. Is it flagged as ESL? Is it a master and ESL? Is it an ESM that is actually a master file? And is it an ESL that's a master and um, ESL? Not really sure how that works, but for the most part, you could just click this one. Or um, you could just do an ESP that's flagged as ESL. It doesn't really matter. It's just It just changes the amount of records that you can actually store in the mod. So for this, we'll just click ESP. Don't really care what it is. We're going to call this Flags of Flight Scar. It's OK. And in this window on the side, you can see what's going on. Copying as new record, static flagpole Minutemen 01 into flagsofflightscar.esp. And it does that for each one. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see we've got flags of flight ESP, and there is a statics section in there now. And you can see FOF flagpole Minutemen 01, Minutemen 02, and the wall flag. Alright, so we've got our statics here, and what we want to do is first we will remove this Minutemen reference because it just makes it longer and we're not doing Minutemen anymore. So I'm just going to slowly double click on the editor ID just to get rid of the Minutemen text. And there we go. And what we want to do is we want to find the original material swaps that was used for this. So if we scroll up back into fallout4.asm and go to material swap and there's an awful lot of these custom ones um, there should be a flag we've been unsorted again a ridiculous amount of them no we've gone too far Flag, Minutemen, let's make in the Minutemen flag into a Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, we could use them ones actually, that will do. Um, so we got Backlit, um, does that even do anything? There's no difference in them. And Minutemen Backlit. Just right there we go. We want 
one of them, one of them, and there should be a one-sided one, but ah, there we go. We'll take that one too. And we're just going to right-click, copy as new record, and we're going to re remove the prefix because there's already a flag on the front of there, which looks a bit weird. So we'll get rid of uh, flag underscore and don't really care about removing a suffix and we want to add fof we don't want to add a suffix and we want flags of flight scar dot asp click the x there click ok we'll zoom down and we can see we've got material swap here and we've got the three different ones didn't really matter where we actually took these from because I know what uh, ones we are actually changing. So we're going to change these editor IDs. We want it to be uh, minute. I, I don't bother with like this to this, but uh, for the sake of the, this one, we could actually just leave it as minute minutemen flag all one backlit to BOS. We don't want it BOS, obviously. We want it to flight scar right and in the substitutions you can see that set dressing minutemen flag minutemen 01 backlit and then we've got it's going to be changed with set dressing bos flag and we want to change that to our own one which is fof flag 01 backlit BGSM and we don't actually need three of these we're going to just use the same one for each one I just wanted to steal this one um, so this material is actually used in this flagpole flagpole USA so we're gonna use this material in the one that we've actually got. Uh, so in the material substitutions, right click and add. So I'll add another one. And the original that we want to change is set dressing flag cloth 01 alpha one sided with just FOF slash flag 01 one sided dot bgsm and we want to do that with the other ones as well so we want um to do the original so we'll just copy this bottom one we're going to paste it at the top here and it's just get rid of backlit so we've got flag Minutemen 01. We want to replace that one with our file, which is just flag 01. FOF flag 01.bgsm. And just for like our own sanity, we'll just add another one which is actually going to be this Minutemen one just in case we actually do miss a miss a material file and we'll call this Minutemen01 one, one sided and that will just be our one sided BGSM as well so right click add come on And I'm just going to control click to select both of these records and I'm going to right click remove are you sure you want to permanently remove two removable select selected records yes because we only really care about that first one and it's no longer a backlit one so we'll just go 
we'll just change this to FOF flag mat swap. Doesn't really matter what it's called, does it? Right, so in our static, we can come to model and you can see material swap. Right click that, choose add, and slowly double click, type in the prefix, so FOF, and you can see FOF flag mat swap. It's the one we want. Oh, we do the same for each one. FOF flag mat swap. Add it again. FOF. FOF flag mat swap. So that's our static flags done. And we've got our material swap. We can add these sections by right clicking the ESP name and choosing add. And we can actually add constructible object, which is our next step. And it adds the section there. You can just right click add constructible object uh, but what we're going to do we're going to find the original flag the original flag um, constructible object should be easy enough to find I say that a bit of scrolling hopefully there is a flag that is like workshop because there's an awful lot of them Workshop um, flag. Come on, there's got to be a flag. There isn't. Ah, there we go. Flag USA. That'll do. So we're going to right click on the flag USA, copy as new record into, we'll call it FOFCO decorations flag. I'll probably change that name to be fair. It'll do for now though. Come right back to the bottom. Expand constructible object, decorations flag, and we'll call this flagpole 01. And what we want to do is in here, we've got the, the created object. If we slowly double click, FOF flagpole 01. So that's going to create our flag. Uh, we can see that it's got the cloth medium pickup sound and the cloth medium put down sound. It uses five cloth to create it. It hasn't got a description, but if you wanted to add one, just type it in there. There's no conditions. If you wanted to add the conditions, right click add and lock it behind a picket fence magazine if you want. And it's going to be in workbench type decorations this can be decorations exterior whatever you want it to be and uh, the category is the recipe filters so this is going to sit under flags which is the decor wall decorations flags and the data created object count is one priority is zero priority will just change the order it shows up in the menu but I always just leave it at zero and it just plonks itself in wherever it needs to be. Okay, so we've got flagpole 01, right click, copy as new record into, change that to a uh, 02, choose flags of flight scar, press OK, choose our 02 one, and double click choose flagpole or two we can leave everything else the same right click the constructible object again and apparently we have lost our ability to oh no I'm just I was just looking for the wrong one sorry uh, right click copy as new record into we'll call this flag wall or one flags of flight scar Press OK and we will choose our wall flag. Okay, 
So once we're all done, we can control S to save. If you untick this, it won't save it. But we want to save flags of flightscar.esp. Press OK. And you have to close your full at full edit or the changes won't appear. And then we're going to go into Vortex and enab enable it from the plugins. So we'll just do that now. And you can see in Vortex under plugins, flags of flight scar.asp is disabled. We just click on there, I'll deploy it, and we can jump in game and see how it looks. We are in workshop mode now, and if we go into decorations and flags, you can see flight scar flag there requires five cloth. And if I just place that down. You can't really see it from here, but on the next one you can. So there's my flight scarf flag. Place that down. And there we go. And that is our mod completely made without opening the creation kit. And well done if you've made it this far. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you again for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.